There you see Carlos Balderas. This young man was highly scouted and people wanted him in their stables and Richard Schaefer Ringstar Sports. They signed him and they believe that this young man is the future of boxing. And for Carlos Balderas to be fighting here at Staples Center, what a journey it has been for him. There you see Carlos Balderas, the 2016 United States Olympian. It means a very big moment for him. It means a lot to be fighting on this stage here at Staples Center. The entire Balderas family clearly in his corner as Jose Balderas picked up a unanimous decision victory. And now we'll set it up to our ring announcer. Once again, here's Miguel Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout will be six rounds in the Super Featherweights division. All brought to you by Ringstar Sports, TGB Promotions, and presented by Premier Boxing Champions, and sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Mas Fina, and Casa Noble Tequila. Our referee for this bout will be Jerry Cantu. Introducing in the red corner, sporting the red and white trunks, weighing in at 133 pounds, a 10-fight veteran, including two knockouts from Barstow, California. Please welcome Alex Silva. His opponent across the ring in the blue corner, sporting the white with red trim, weighing in at 134 pounds. His record undefeated, four wins, three by knockout from Santa Maria, California. Please welcome Carlos Baldera. Gentlemen, you were giving your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. We continue with the action. Carlos Balderas, Alex Silva. Balderas undefeated. 4 0, oh, three knockouts. Take it out, Alex Silva. Silva, a 10 fight veteran. But Carlos Balderas certainly has burst onto the scene. Are you ready? As a young professional you making some significant waves. Clean, gentlemen, clean. Fought for the United States Olympic team in Rio. Coming off of a unanimous decision victory back on February 17th over Jorge Sacco Contelli. That's a slip as Alex Silva already complaining to the referee, the official. Valderas has three first round stoppages. He does not like to go the distance. For Alex Silva is coming off of two straight losses to undefeated fighters Michael Norado and Rolando Romero. But he did knock out Ruben Martinez, who was undefeated last year. Valderas on left hook to the body and that, you could tell that Silva didn't like that. Valderas is very economical when it comes to his punching. Doesn't waste much energy. A nice left hook to the body, that backed up Alex Silva. Silva doesn't like that, I think it's only a matter of time before he gets the deck. Right and left hooks to the body, now he's southpaw, it's Carlos Valderas. Alex Silva, you could tell, was hurt from those hooks. And a big shot there, and a left hook pointing down Alex Silva. Silva thought he had Balderas hurt, and he was clipped with the left hook coming inside. Now, if you're Carlos Balderas, I wonder if he really applies the pressure, or if he invites Alex Silva to keep coming forward. Referee talking to Alex Silva about backing up. The jab coming out for Carlos Valderas. 
A left hook, and now Silva's hurt. Silva's hurt again. Silva is hurt, and the left hook to the body, and down goes Alex Silva with a left hook by Carlos Banderas. That should be it. Oh my goodness. And this one is over. Carlos Banderas with another first round knockout. And this one is here at Staples Center. And boy, is it sweet for the young man out of Santa Maria, California. There you see Richard Schaefer, he embraces with him. And that means a lot to Carlos Barteras. I am not a fortune teller, but I can pretty much guarantee you this is not the last time that Carlos Barteras is going to have a very big moment here at Staples Center. This young man is here to stay, and I think he has all the makings of being something very special. He has the amateur background. He certainly has the talent. He has the looks. He has the drive. I believe that Carlos Balderas can be the next young star from this area. And let's take a look back at the first knockdown as Silva thought he had Balderas hurt and he came forward. He thought he had him hurt with that left hook. He came forward, boom. There was that left hook and down he went. Again, take another look at it. As Balderas is in the pocket, a left hook. As Balderas, I thought he was off balance. Silva rushed in and then boom. Right there was on the temple. And that really hurt the equilibrium of Alex Silva. Came in and Balderas gathered himself again. A check left hook. Down he went. Let's take a look back at how the fight finished. And it was vicious body work from Carlos Balderas. Silva coming forward, a lap took, and Silva was off balance, messed, it messed with his equilibrium, but it was the bodywork of Carlos Balderas that brought an end of the night to Alex Silva. That lap took, boom, a paralyzing shot, writhing in pain, and you knew that he was not going to reach the count of 10. Another angle, let's take a look at it, as you see that Silva, it is the left hand that started it all, as you see the left hook, bang, right there, down he went. And here is another angle from our fantastic crew here at Staples Center. As Silva coming forward, the left hook, that's what started upstairs. But then Balderas had the mindset to go, and then he dug down to the body, and here's that left hook. The jab, and then boom, right there on the liver. Good night, Carlos Balderas victorious by another first round knockout and there he embraces with his family and Carlos and Jose Balderas both go undefeated here tonight at Staples Center and now we'll set it up to ring announcer for the official particulars here's Miguel Flores Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes and 25 seconds into round number one. For your winner, by knockout, Carlos Balderas. A first round knockout by Carlos Balderas. I love what I see out of Balderas. He certainly passes the eye test without the shadow of a doubt. And Carlos Balderas, they're showing respect to the referee.